YouTube Gen X, what's going on? Um, been away for a couple of weeks or whatever. Um, just had some really important questions that I had to answer. And you know how it is where you think you have this sort of win-win, but um, if you don't know the pros and cons, more than likely you haven't did your research. So you have to figure out the pros and cons and go from there. Um, and there's multiple areas that I had to address, so... I mean, you know how that can be, whether it's personal, professional, academic, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, but going through that process, I was thinking about what happens to a lot of your younger, ambitious black men and women that want to own and run something, you know, so they want to be a business owner, so to speak. Um, and I realized that for us, we have certain tendencies that differ from, let's say, whites or Asians or Indians, where with them, if they have that sort of, hey man, I want to be this young sort of business owner, I want to do something that is for profit, right? So I'm going to have some company, internet based or whatever, but it's going to be a for profit. So if that business blows up, that's going to directly translate into my bank account blowing up. <clears throat> Excuse me, but as far as us, we have a tendency to decide to go the nonprofit route because we would want to provide a good, not even a good, but a service to a underserved community. Whether you talk about the black community or, um, you know, ex-gang offenders or, uh, you know, young boys who are in danger of falling into gang violence or whatever. Like, we want to target a underserved population. So that's where we go to. Unfortunately, your nonprofit, right, even if it's blowing up, even if it's doing what it was designed to do, you have funding or whatever, that doesn't translate over to the bank account. So you could have this sort of highly successful nonprofit, but that does not mean that when you, you know, go to your uh, uh, website, right, for whoever you bank with, that you're going to open it up and see that, oh, you know, we had a good month, so that should reflect in my account. No, it doesn't happen that way. Unfortunately. And some people may say, well, you know, you can pay yourself to a nonprofit. Yeah, you can, but without getting into details, it's very difficult to do that. Right? And once again, I'm not saying that for those that have said, oh, I'm getting money through my nonprofit, I'm not saying that they're breaking any laws or whatever. But when you look at the spirit behind of what a nonprofit is supposed to be, it's really not designed for people to cake off financially like that. Um, and especially in California, they're cracking down on people who are not necessarily breaking the law, but they're violating the spirit behind what a nonprofit is supposed to be. And you're saying people that are saying, hey, I'm getting money to my nonprofit. I guarantee if the people that fund them, you know, the people that donate money to them found out how that money was being spent, they would have an issue. Right, because once again, you know, your people want to see that the bulk of the money is going towards the services that you provide. Right, it's understood that your nonprofit is not supposed to be for the money. Obviously, you know, you want to operate and have people working for you, right, uh, or working for the nonprofit. But it's just understood that it's more so for the the good of a certain community, not necessarily to make money off of whatever, right. But, you know, that's for a different conversation. I know people are going to object to whatever, which is all good. Um, but, and like I said, I, don't, I wouldn't say that anybody's breaking the law, but I've talked to people um, who have said, yeah, you know, you can pay yourself through a nonprofit, you know, and I've listened carefully to what they're saying. And in my opinion, right, how they go about doing it mm, is somewhat violating what a nonprofit is supposed to be in terms of the spirit of it. And truth be told, in my opinion, <clears throat> if the people that did fund them, right, the people that they go to for fundraising, if they found out how money was being spent, to me there should be some questions that would get brought up. I know if I'm, you know, donating money to a nonprofit, I want to make sure that it's used properly. But, you know, once again, you know, if you haven't necessarily understood what a nonprofit is or been part of one, you wouldn't necessarily understand what I'm talking about. Um, but like I said, for your young black professionals who are that business savvy or minded, sometimes we go that route. And for me, 
it's difficult to know that you're putting in just as much time and effort, maybe even more, right? Because now you have to consider going off and, you know, getting funding because the service that you provide to the community or whatever demographic is free for them, but the service still costs money, right? It, it just costs money. Um, so you have to somehow secure that. Uh, along with providing the service and doing all the other stuff that you have to do, right? So to me, you know, no one can say that they're not working just as hard. But it's bittersweet to know that they're working just as hard, but that's not reflected in the bank account. And for a lot of your younger professionals who are that business savvy, to me, it has to translate into dollars. You know, when we talk about building wealth and doing this, that, and the third. It is what it is. You know, I'm not trying to say that there's no moral sort of payment or some sort of uh, spiritual payment. That's all good. Right? But to put in that much time and effort and know that it's not being translated over into the account, it's not going to sit well. You know, and I have my fair share of examples of people who, you know, at one point in time had successful nonprofits, but they went away from it. Why? Because at the end of the day, they had their own financial aspirations in terms of where they want to be financially, what they want to have for their families, what they want to have for the future, and they weren't able to do that through the nonprofit. And it's sad because, once again, you see these young people who put so much talent, blood, sweat, and tears into something that was successful, but it didn't translate over to money. Whereas with other groups, it's understood that if you're going to put your time and effort into something, it's going to work out for you monetarily. So to me, I feel like a nonprofit, and this is going to your younger, professional-minded black folks or whatever, to me, it should be something that you do later on, when you already have your money-making ventures where they need to be. So maybe, you already have the, maybe you've already made your money, or maybe you already have your money-making opportunities set up. But your nonprofit be, should be something that you're not looking to make money off of. Right? You know, you're worried about you know, paying your employees and making sure that the, uh, the nonprofit is doing what it's supposed to do. But it, when it comes down to your own personal financial gain, it shouldn't be tied to it. Right, so then you can focus on helping out whatever community you want to help out on, but at the same time, you know that you've taken care of yourself. Because it's bittersweet. It, it, it's bittersweet to know that you can put in so much hard work, especially being so young, and it doesn't translate into any sort of monetary advancement. And we need it. When you look at wealth in the black community or whatever, you know, we need. The, the people who have the drive and have the ability to make money. And I say this because I, at one point, was about to push the button on the nonprofit. Um, but I sat back and I asked myself, will I be happy emotionally? Yeah. Will I be happy spiritually? Yeah. Um, will it help out a certain uh, demographic? Yeah. But what about my financial future? What about what I want for my family and future generations or whatever? and my ability to do bigger and better things later on in life. And I wasn't addressing that need. So one of the reasons why I was gone was I had to pretty much take a non-profit idea and turn it around into a for-profit idea, which took some time because you had to reorganize certain stuff or whatever um, to make it fit. So that's where I've been. So, you know, going through the whole process, you know, and talking to people and, you know, meeting with people and, you know, getting coffee with people, I understood what was going on with a lot of your nonprofits where they end up dying off not so much because they weren't successful but because there was no sort of monetary gain right so I'm definitely at the conclusion that this is something for those that want to own and run and found their own nonprofit it should be something that you do later on in life once again when you have other things in play you're not worried about how you're going to generate money and, you know, building wealth or whatever, that's already taken care of. Right? It's like Bill Gates. You know, all Bill Gates does now, him and his wife, is they run their foundation. They've already made their money. They already have that stuff set up into place so they can do stuff like this later on. And that's where we should be. Because, once again, we can't afford to have young talent put in so much time, effort, blood, sweat, dedication, and build something that is successful, but then not get that sort of financial gain. To me, it's a loss. Yeah, it's a moral victory, I guess, but, you know, I'm not in the business for simply moral victories. 
To me, you can have a moral victory and you can have financial victories. And maybe sometimes you have to get the financial victory before you can get the moral victory. So something to think about, you know, it is what it is. For those that don't know, just look into a nonprofit or whatever. I know some people are going to come at me on some, you, you, you misunderstood, this, that, and the third. No. I did my research and I understand what it's about. And I just don't see how you can profit off of a highly successful nonprofit, right, without breaking the spirit of what it needs to be and quite frankly not being 100% with the people that fund your nonprofit. It is what it is. So y'all take it easy. God bless.